How do you feel you played last week playing and with your hand in the ground for a while? Uh, it was fun and, uh, you know, I just took advantage of, you know, having the, uh, a lot of snaps with some guys being hurt. And I'm just trying to, you know, go out here and have fun, man. Well, uh, you know, that's, all, that's my main goal, have fun. How much is your role different when you play up in Christian Rector's spot than it was when you were in earlier this season? Um, it hasn't really changed, you know. I still, you know, we always prepare like a starter. So with me, it's just, you know, just going out there and just having fun, playing with my teammates, play for my teammates, don't be selfish, play smart. And, um, you know, there's no pressure. You know, Rector is a great leader and he continued to help me, you know, be the best I can be uh, while, while he's not playing. And then uh, Iosef also helping me you know, just really uh, get a feel for it. And, you know, this is my first time really taking all these reps. So ha um, having those two guys by my side is helping me, you know, just become better. I'm just having fun, man. As a speed rusher, as more of a speed rusher, how much does it help to have someone like Jay Tufele next to you? Oh, it's a blessing, man. We got Jay, you got Marlon and Peely and, you know, Tremblay, guys who can just get to the uh, quarterback. It's a blessing. And, um, you know, it's fun to play with guys like that who, who are special and, and they have great talents in the Melodies. What did you guys do, uh, or what do you think you did different against Google Tate that you were really able to keep him from gashing you in any way? Um, well, we just, you know, Coach Priest uh, and all the practice and all of our drills kind of, you know, towards, you know, the uh, quarterbacks who like to scramble. So we did a lot of things in practice that helped us clean up our, our pass rushing angles. And uh, that's why, you know, there was less, uh, you know, quarterback, quarterback couldn't really escape or it was less step ups and throwaways. And, you know, because we just working on our angles and really fitting up on the quarterback and getting getting them down. So um, that was just our game plan. We just, just focus on getting them down. And uh, earlier this week, or uh, yesterday, I think, you tweeted a picture of you and Helton with a message about your support for him. What, what prompted you to do that? And what are your thoughts on that? Uh, Coach Kelton, man, that's my, that's my guy. And like, he's like another father to me. You know, he, he always owned me. But, you know, he loves me. He wants the best for me. So I, I ride or die for my coach, you know, just like all the players here. We, we play for him, you know. And like, we make the plays. We got to go out there and play. So I just feel like, you know, I just, that message wasn't like, no, for nothing, no, there wasn't nothing secret or about it. It was just, you know, that's how I feel about my coach. He's a great leader. Uh, everybody on the team feels that way. And we love going out there every, every Saturday and playing for that man because, you know, he takes care of us. He's a great player's coach. And um, like for me, just personally, like he just take care of me since my freshman year. He's helping me turn, grow into a pro every day and a man, a better uh, man each and every day. So I have nothing but respect for Coach Hilton. And, uh, you know, I just showed it a little bit right there at the post. That's my dog, that's my guy. How would you describe just what generally what the mood is like on defense when you lose so many of those guys who have obviously played a big part this season? Um, you know, Coach Clancy always preaching the next man up. He always tells us he's going to take everybody in the room to play. So when stuff like that goes, uh, goes like, you know, go down, then everybody just steps up. So uh, EA went down, uh, Kanai, you see him, he had a, big, a great game. And it's just, it's always going to be like that because here at USC, we, we, we preach that. You know, you wait your turn, and then when your time comes, you shine, you ball out. So um, we just be, we're ready for stuff like that. And when players go down, we embrace it. Some young guys are going to embrace it, and, you know, some other guys might embrace it. It's just, you know, we're out here to have fun and make plays, and, and that's what we're trying to do from here on out. I feel like your role has kind of changed quite a bit over this past year. It seems like you've kind of been switching between positions and the scheme has changed a little bit. Yeah, my role, uh, it's been changing a little bit, but it's kind of, it's still the same, you know? And like I said, uh, I'm just here to have fun, man, and, and make plays you know, with my teammates. So uh, I, I don't really, I'm not too big on my role. I'm just here to play defense and, and win games for the Trojans. What have you, like, I guess, learned about yourself as a player now at defense back? Uh, I think I learned that I'm pretty, I'm pretty, uh, Pretty smooth out there. Yeah, you know, like I got a couple moves I can do, but I need to. I, I do have some things I need to work on, man. And uh, I need to be more consistent and have a, a bigger motor out there when I'm rushing the passer. So that's shutting my my passer's move off. I have to prefer to you know move if it doesn't work. I I got to continue to have more moves, more things in my arsenal that's gonna help me get to the quarterback. But, uh, when I do put on a little move, it's a little fancy sometimes. Yeah. You guys are undefeated at home and winless on the road. Outside of a quality of opponent, what do you feel like is the difference between winning and losing on the road? Well, a lot of the away games we done played them early at 12:30, so you know, just having that that time to really sit down in the hotel and get a grasp of things. Sometimes, you know, it's kind of it's, it's, it might put a toll on us. You know, we travel from LA, then you got to go wake up the next morning and play an early morning game rather than you know playing a late 7:30 game at home in California. So, you know, that might that might get us, but it's no excuse, man. We just uh, we got to execute more when we're away. I feel like um, you know we gotta start faster as a team. We just need to start faster when we're away. We don't have that momentum from the crowd, so 
uh, that energy, we need to bring that energy in. And, you know, we need to get it from ourselves rather than trying to get it from the crowd. We're not going to get it from the crowd. So just, you know, that energy and starting fast is something that we got to start doing on our own. seemed like the pass rest really got going in this past game. What did you just generally see was, was the key to that? Um, just seeing, you know, like I said, uh, we cleaned some stuff up in practice and we got the we got the angles down on the quarterback. Well, we was able to, you know, pin him down and like not, not, not let Khalil taste uh, scramble away and uh, step up and throw the ball away, you know. And uh, I saw to Khalil taste a great quarterback. So I'm uh, probably one of the quarterbacks. So, you know, I'm familiar with him and uh, he's a great guy. And you know, we did a, we had a great game plan trying to uh, go after Khalil. So we, we did pretty good. How transferable is that to other opponents? Oh, it's very transferable. Like the next quarterbacks we're going to play, um, they're going to be you know guys who like to take off and they can extend plays with their feet. So we're just going to have to you know continue to put pressure on those guys. And uh, throughout these next you know four or five uh, weeks that we have left, we're going to continue to you know put pressure on the quarterback and try to keep them in that pocket, allow our DBs to stay on their uh, their assignment and allow us to get to them. When well, you have so many of your better players down, you know, Drake, EA, Kalanoa, you got to kind of wake everyone up. Like, I got to do more? Uh, yeah, like I said, man, like, a lot of our guys, like, our coaches preach that. Like, you know, when someone's go down, it's not like a big, we're not depressed about this time. You know, next man is up. And in this case, you know, there's going to be some, some guys that have to step up, and including myself, and, and that's what we're going to do. we got to go into Colorado. We can't uh, uh, hang our face because we got, you know, some of our best guys out. We're going to have to continue to go out there and, and, and show who we are. We are USC. And USC, we have depth here, and we got, we got to show that depth on Friday. You guys obviously are in a good position where you could win the, the division, but maybe can't afford another loss. You know, we don't know yet. Does it feel like that, like that the season kind of on the line each week? Um, that's how we're playing it. Uh, we're, we're playing it like uh, we're not panicking. We know what's in front of us. We know we control our own destiny. We know that we take it uh, uh, game by game, uh, week by week, and that's what our coaches are preaching. They're doing a good job on help uh, make sure that we're locked in and we, we take every game you know like it's the championship game because it's for the championship so uh, week by week that's how we that's how we take our games can i have a career day on saturday i'm just wondering uh what's he like off the field and what's he like to practice we love kanai uh 26 is a baller he's a beast he's cool he has cool hair <laughs> he has like this cool bike that he uh like a big little bike that he carries the whole team back home when he rides home <laughs> Everyone loves Kanai, and um, you know he works so hard, man. With uh, Iosefa and Coach Nansen and, and uh, up there in meetings, and you know they just they really lock in on football, and, and it pays off for him. He's putting himself in positions on the field to make plays, and you know I'm just so excited for that guy because you know he's just a beast. Everybody loves Kanai, so yeah, I'm, I'm just excited, and I love to I love to see him uh, step up uh, while EA is going and just take over, man. He's doing a great job, and hopefully you know he continues to keep making plays. Could you characterize his playing style like in a word? 